name is Vlad, and I live in Brooklyn, New York. Originally, I'm from Kyiv, Ukraine. I was a curious little child. I would always run around, taking things apart, sometimes not put them back together. The world was my playground. Unfortunately, my dad passed away, and we literally lost everything. My grandparents immigrated to New York, and my mom and I followed soon after. How is your business? We're good. I don't have an office for my business. I live in a one-bedroom apartment with my grandparents and my mom and my cat. So a lot of times I just go to a local cafe and I work from there. Kids are gonna love this. Creativity was a really big part of my childhood. I really wanted to have a product that puts learning into playtime. That's you and dad. Yeah. And Paris together. The hardest part about coming to New York was seeing my mom adapt all by herself with my dad not being around. I felt like I needed to be the man in the family and support my mom and make her happy. And that's why I worked so hard to make this business a success. What's up, sharks? My name is Vlad and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm the founder and the creator of Pinblock Building Blocks, and I'm here seeking $100,000 in exchange for 20% of my company. Sharks, the future of our children is in big trouble. Millions of parents are making one big mistake. They value school more than playtime. You see, in school, your children are bound by rules. They memorize and recite all day long. But playtime at home is when the self-exploration and the self-development actually takes place. It is then your little sharks develop creativity, decision-making skills, all the things that are really important for their success. Every day, more and more parents realize this and get their children the ultimate creative toy, building blocks. And that's why I created Pinblock, which requires no manual, and every single piece is exactly the same. The long round pins on top of each block allow your models to bend and even fold. Kevin, uh, I said every single piece is exactly the same, so it allowed me to take your beautiful face, yes. pixelate it, and make a real-life Merle. Extremely attractive. So, Sharks, I need your help to unlock the creativity of our children and watch them build the future one pin block at a time. <laughs> now, guys, I got some personalized gifts. How about I give them out? Robert, uh, you're the protector of the cyberspace. You'll be our warrior for today. Here's Ooh, your I love it. Helmet Thank you. And your dagger. Yeah. Don't forget. Yeah. Dagger. dagger. <laughs> Very Lori, cool. Queen of QVC, but you Perfect. forgot your crown. Thank and you. And a staff for you to rule with. Uh -huh. Gavin? I bought some thin black cash for you. Oh, I like wow. that. Very cute. Barbara, I got some really cool accessories for you. Let oh, me in. Good. I hope they're pure diamonds. And a clap. I get pizza? <laughs> <laughs> I promise the pizza is gluten free. <laughs> That's what Mark is known for eating. <laughs> what are your sales? Yeah. So, with sales, we have uh, 160K from Amazon and from our website. Can I see your box? Sure, Real certainly. Quick. So uh, this is just one of my uh, different right. sets. What does it cost, Vlad? So that one is our starter pack, 19.95. How much does it cost you to make? It cost me $3. With this starter pack, what can I make? That one in particular actually comes with the manual. But after that, a kid can go on our YouTube channel, learn from my tutorials that I make myself. So what yeah. about Toy Fair? You've been to Toy Fair? Yes. January last year. Yeah. So over there, we got great responses. We're just showing the prototypes. What happened with Walmart? What happened with Costco? What happened so, with Toys R Us? Uh, with the big box retailers, they're generally not there to seek out new products. Uh, I saw them just running from meeting to meeting. And they loved it. Like, yeah, this is really cool. Send us a sample. Right? So you didn't so, get any orders there? No, uh, I took some orders from smaller retailers. Vlad, I'm dying to know your background. Where do you come from? Uh, originally, I'm from uh, Ukraine. And actually, my, my father, he gave me a lot of inspiration. He was in venture capital and uh, currency. Did he help fund effects. this business? Um, unfortunately, very early on, he passed away, which uh, kind of put me in a position where everything we had, my mom and I had, was taken away from us. So I, it's crazy to think about it, but since I was a little boy, I knew that I had a mission to like, get it all back, to kind of, like, uh, you know, for my father to succeed him. You know, to also become successful, to continue his journey. So by the time I started this business, I was 18 years old. So you came here wanting to live the American dream. That's exactly it. How old are you now, if you don't mind 21. me? 21. Just wow. turned. Wow. Did you start this business? Did you raise any money? No, we didn't raise any money. I started this with, with my uh, best friend at the time, and we together pulled our money and we financed the prototyping, the production. What happened to the friend? Uh, my partner was in the back end, and I feel like he didn't 
feel connected to the business. So the and CEO is still own part of it? Uh, he still owns 15%. 15? 15, one five. So I own the rest, 85. And he's not there anymore? No, he's not there. Well, at the other blocks, I can create stuff like this. I, I disagree. Not bad. Uh, actually, I would ask, would you be able to make a crown? Would you be able to make a watch? And do you have a patent on it? Yes, I applied for two patents, and yesterday got my uh, design patent granted. Good for you. So the design is of the shape of the piece? The design is exactly how the that. piece looks like. That's yes, useful. That. I have to admit, this is interesting interesting because it does a few things, the bendability plus the, the pixelation artwork is kind of different. You know, years ago, I sold my company to Mattel and I worked there for a year and a half and I got a pretty good dose of the understanding of the toy industry. I'm going to make you an offer. The only way I see for this to work is that you actually partner with another toy company that's going to get this into their product line. They would probably license it in perpetuity pay you a royalty. I would do that deal, but I want 30%. In other words, I'll give you the 100K with a giant contingency. I have no interest in investing in this unless I can put it into a very large toy manufacturer that provides marketing and distribution globally. This is actually something that goes against my original strategies. My strategy is to really build out the brand where it's a necessity for these big retailers to carry my product because they have kids coming into the front door and asking, hey, uh, where's Spinblox? Blood, everything you just outlined, you made it sound as though it's a very easy thing to accomplish. I'm sure you're aware it's going to take a heck of a lot of money. I don't typically like the deals he offers, but with his experience, I think that's a deal you should consider. So I'm out. Blood in the toy space, it's very difficult to, to make the consumer understand a completely new product like this. It's a long road. I'm out. Um, Vlad, look, I always think great businesses are built from great purpose. I can just tell. That's you. I would try to license it, but that's not your vision. I wish you all the best, but I'm out. Vlad, what you're doing is incredible, right? You're grinding through and that there's a lot of really amazing things that you've accomplished. But the toy business is brutal. This isn't something for me, I'm out. I made you an offer. Yes. And the risk you have when that occurs is you can see if there's another one or you can engage in mine. And now you only have one option. That gives me a lot more leverage. So I'm gonna modify my offer. The only way this works is I'm going to be a 50-50 partner with you. I'll give you $100,000 for 50% with contingency. I'll bring it to the toy industry because they all return my call. And I'll bring deals to you. And if you want to turn them down, that's fine. But if you want to accept one of them, we're 50-50 you have no chance of doing it successfully yourself. So your first offer was for 30%. And then you dropped out, Robert. And then you dropped no, out, Lori. No, actually, that's not as bad as you first think. Which part of that is not as bad because as you think? He the gave 50%? Vlad, no, he gave Vlad the option. So you can set the bar as high as you want for that deal you like, and basically he's paying you to be a sales rep and, and a partner, a 50-50 partner. One by one, these sharks dropped out because they don't want to take on the task. I happen to come from this industry, so I'm willing to give it a shot. But you're still in control. This is your one shot to get in the boardroom of the biggest players on Earth. Vlad, you should take this offer. This is a good deal for you. You know what? Stop telling him what to do. I don't own uh, the entire 100%. I own 85. So you, by taking 50%, you're becoming the sole driver of the company. I want 50% of it. How you split up your 50%, Vlad, is entirely up to you. Vlad, do you think you can do it alone? This is what it comes down to. Do you feel like you need that help? Kevin, let's do a deal. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Thanks smart man, Vlad. Wow. Vlad. I didn't think that was going to happen. Congratulations, Vlad. Vlad, Vlad, Vlad. The moral is, Kevin thought he was making a better deal. You won. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you, guys. Take care, Congrats. Vlad. Kevin does take a big chunk of my company. I am the, not the majority stakeholder anymore. He is. Sucks. 
uh, but I do have a shark uh, on my team, which is very valuable, and uh, I really am excited to see where this takes us. At the end of it all, uh, how many of 21-year-olds uh, can say that they have Kevin O'Leary as a partner? Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Tank YouTube channel and ring the notification bell to keep up with everything that's bubbling in the tank.